What is up everyone? MTG Peddler here, back again, back at it. Oh yeah, what do we got today? A little bit of a uh, Core 2021 standard booster box. Oh yeah, we're gonna be opening this guy in just a second. I just have a couple things I wanna go over first. We do have several, several giveaways coming up. So today's video, I did not have a, a giveaway planned, but I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway today because I actually happened to go to the store to pick up my, my box today. And I happened to show up at just the right time where they were doing a pre-release event and no one showed up because of the virus. And so they needed a, one more person. So I decided to jump in and yeah, I did all right. Went three and oh, played a blue black control deck. I got all kinds of, you know, prizes and stuff like that. I got a uh, draft set, three core 2021 boxes. And I got a bunch of promo packs also. I got a Theros Beyond Death premium promo pack, a Coria foil promo pack, a Throne of Eldraine promo pack, and then two core 2021 promo packs. So I figured I'm gonna share the love a little bit today. So what am I, what am I gonna be giving away? Uh, this, right here. I'm gonna be giving away three Core 2021 booster packs. Why not? Let's do it. I got, I won some stuff today, so I figured I might as well share the love. Let someone else enjoy some cards too. So we're going to be doing that. That's giveaway number one. Now, giveaway number two is going to be coming up when I get my Core 2021 collector's boxes. I have a Core 2021 bundle that I will be giving away to a subscriber with that. Um, I also come, there's a lot coming up. There's a lot to talk about. Oh, speaking of which, with these jump starts, me and my wife have a fun little uh, event plan. I'm going to be showing her how to play Magic, and I figured it'd be fun to do it live on camera. So we're going to be going over jump start together. I got a couple more of those packs coming in. Now, Double Masters coming up, obviously. And I, don't, I still have not figured out what I'm going to give away when Double Masters come out. I still don't know. I'm working on it. I'm going to come up with something really cool because Double Masters is awesome. I think it's going to be really awesome. So I want to make that giveaway pretty big. And lastly, fourth giveaway announcement. Four of them. There's four. Four giveaways. Four giveaways. Uh, if, if Double Masters comes out on August 7th. So if we can get to 250 subs by the time Double Masters comes out, I will give an entire box of Core 2021 36 packs if we can get to 250 so tell your friends i mean there's going to be a uh, release events and stuff like that tell your friends get as many people on this channel as you can and i will give away one of these boxes if we hit 250 subs okay all right that's enough with the announcements and let's let's open packs man it, it's late this is much later than i normally do this it is Almost 10 o'clock at night. House is almost asleep. Oh yeah, let's do it, come on. But I figured, why not? I was gonna wait for tomorrow, but meh, meh. Why not? That's just, I, I, I couldn't help myself. I have five packs in the house. I, I generally can't just let them sit and let them just wait for them. I'm just like, yeah, let's, let's open these guys. Let's open them up. All right, so, core 2021. See what we can pull out of this, huh? Weird having this many packs. I've pretty much only strictly opened up collector's boosters. So I'm so used to this having 12 packs and that's it. So it's kind of cool to have this many packs to go through. So we have our token. Ooh, nice. I'm a big fan of these uh, showcase lands. I really like them. I'm very excited that the um, collector's boxes are gonna have these in foil all over the place. I love these cards. And, oh, it's, I guess it's a Japanese edition, or printing, because our rare is next. So we have Karvek, the Spiteful. Very cool. And then we have some Uncommons. We have a Shrine. Woman. Try to stop that glare. Solidarity. Ooh. That is my fault. A little technical issue there. 
I think we're good now. I think I might have uh, clipped the camera. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. All right. Put these comments off screen here because there's going to be a ton of them. Next pack, let's go. Oh man, I'm already five minutes in. We're going to have to speed this along a little bit here. Oh, the video's over. I can't open this pack. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go. I'm still not used to doing it with the camera in front of my face. So we have the angel token. We have an island. Whoop. Hey, look at that. Chandra, Heart of Fire. Showcase. Very, very cool. And you can tell it's showcase by that little dot right there. Your non-showcase cards will have like the standard issue, like kind of elongated um, foil marking. Very cool. First mythic out of the box. I guess I'll keep the myth. I'll keep a mythic pile going too. Actually, let me pull this down. That way, so we can see everything here. That on top. All right. Going through the uncommons. Waker of Waves, Indulging Partition, and Soul Seer. And then we got some commons. We go through. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There's a showcase one right there. All right. So put these down. Boom. And commons over here. All right. Sorry, me. These packs seem much harder to open than normal, unless I'm just stupid. Yeah, Soldier Token. I could very well be stupid, too. You, you can just comment, you know. I won't take offense. But we have Foil, Wall of Runes. And then we have Sabira. Tulziti, I guess. Caravaner. And then our Uncommons. Angelic Ascension. Angelic Ascension. Another Shrine. Red Shrine. With Fairy's Tutelage. And then we have Commons. That's just through them pretty fast. Okay, I'll get used to this eventually, I promise. I'm not a fan of this, uh, the way that the Japanese packs are set up. I don't like having the rare. Oh, look at that cat token. That's awesome. Just waiting to rip your face off. I, I don't like having the rare up front. I think it kind of takes away from the fanfare of this, doing it this way. The Speaker of the Heavens is our rare. I like having the rare be the very end of it. And then we have our uncommons. We have Rural Form, Invigorating Surge, Alpine Hound Master. And then we're going to have a bunch of commons. Let's kind of go through those real fast. I don't think anyone really cares about the commons. All right, next pack. I hear my wife laughing at me in the background. I'm sure, I'm sure the camera picked that up. Yeah, she knows I'm a dork. She married me going in. She knows. Forest. And then we have Maze Mine Tome. As our rare. Malefic Scythe. Vryn Wigmar. And Dire Fleet Warmonger are uncommons. And then we'll just go through these commons real fast just to see if there's anything cool. Nothing at all. All right, let's keep moving on. Oh, there's a little pull tab. That actually makes life a lot easier. That's probably why it's so complicated to open these damn things. <laughs> Glad I found that now and not like, you know, in my 30, 35th pack. Islands and Nyambi, Esteem Speaker. It's our rare. What did I put my... Oh, no, good. I thought I mixed up my uh, mythic pile there. And uncommons. And our commons. Go through these... Ah, real fast, beautiful. So have you guys been playing in any uh, pre-releases, anything like that? I mean, I know some people are really excited about it. Some people are still kind of, you know, hesitant about going outside because of everything that's going on with the world. I understand. I was not planning on playing a pre-release today. We've got a Beast Token. Thornwood Heights. Foiled Goblin Arsonist. Foil over there. And Nine Lives. Lots of cats in that picture. Lots of cats. I like that they made cats the theme for this uh, set. Cats well, and dogs, obviously. Our commons And our commons. But yeah, I was surprised. I was, like I said, I was not planning on being in a pre-release event today. It just kind of happened to show up right when they wanted to start. And they were like, hey, you want to play? So I called the wife real fast to make sure that she, we didn't have anything that I needed to get done. She's like, nah, go ahead. Have fun. I've been stuck inside for a while. So soldier token. 
Oh yeah, another uh, showcase. This one's an island. I, uh, you, guys, you guys know I love my lands. That is a cool looking land. Love it. Love what they did for this set. And, oh, look at that. Another Planeswalker. Second Mythic, Liliano, Walker of the Dead. Oh, there, there you go. There you can see the two the differences between the two marks. That's the, the standard art. And that's the showcase art right there. So you can see the difference right there. So that's our second Mythic. And Heartfire Emolator. Tavern Swindler. And a Siege Striker. Our Uncommons. And then our Common Crap. Oh, we've got a, another showcase there. Magma. Cool. Next pack. Oh, yeah. Now the discovery of that pull tab made, makes this a lot easier. All right. So we have a Sapling Token. Hey, Forest. Oh, another Mythic. All right. Three Mythics in. We're not even a third of the way through the box yet. Terror of the Peaks. This guy does work. One of my opponents in the pre-release had him. Thankfully, I had that uh, counter spell, the uh, Sublime something, one with the chick taking her face off. And I countered that, and that basically won me the, won me the game there. Uh, okay, so Griffin Airy, Kite Sail Freebooter, Cultivate. Last uncommon, and then some comments. But yeah, I'm generally not a control player, but that's just where um where my where my uh my previous uh kit took me. It was like, guess what? You're gonna be in control and you're playing black and blue. I'm like, alright, well I'm not my color pairing of choice and not my style of deck of choice, but it got the job done. I'll go three and any day of the week. Griffin token, blossoming sands, so, and then we have a fierce empath, and then rare. Ghostly Pilfer, very good uh, limited card. My opponent had one of these in my third match and almost got there. He actually was the only game I lost. I lost one game and it was to him. And that Ghostly Pilfer went a long way to burn through his deck. Very good limited card. Anything interesting here? Nah, nah, not really. Ah, uh, yeah. So tell me, what, what cards are you guys excited for? You know, is there certain cards you're excited for? I'm really hoping to rip open a Grim Tutor. Really excited about that. Or an Ugin would be awesome. I see. Rada, Heart of Kelt. Planes, put that down. Then we have Gourmand. Another, I had this in my deck today. Did a lot of work. Awesome card. Like him. Very good in limited. And whenever I'm saying I like cards, it is solely from a limited point of view because that is the only way I play paper magic now I don't construct decks everything I open here uh, I sell basically immediately like as soon as I'm done my videos I'm usually putting stuff on on eBay eh. so I don't construct decks anymore zombie token uh, swift water cliffs and rare is gonna be a spore web weaver and we have our uncommons another shrine bolt hound epitaph golem and our commons this guy did a lot of work for me today. Got, had him in my deck also. Really, really cool. I like having that good sized body. And then when he dies, he's getting, you know, you're getting, getting a token. I like it. I like him a lot. And the commons. All right, one third through. Try to move this along a little bit. I talked a little bit longer than I wanted to in the intro. So <laughs> I'm going to be behind now. I'm going to knock over everything, too. Why not? Why not? Okay. Another zombie token. Then we have the planes. Sanctum of All. So talking about the shrines. And we have a Candy Stalker. Another Gourmand. Siege Striker. And we're just going to rifle through these real fast. See if anything cool strikes out. It does not. Moving along. It's definitely weird opening this many packs. I am not used to this at all. I kind of I get so used to this open having twelve packs and that's it. Griffin, Blossoming Sands, Foil Sanguine Indulgence, and Heroic Intervention. Nice card. Fierce Rise, Battle Rattle Shaman, Chrome Replicator, Replicator for those who can speak, and then nothing too interesting there. Man, I'm just gonna make a new pile of uncommons. I'm gonna keep <laughs> swinging this thing all over the place. I'm just gonna move that off screen. I'll start another pile. That way, so I don't have to fix it. Every two seconds here. Next pack. All right, we have Island. Peer into the Abyss. I like this artwork a lot. Really, really cool. 
That is creepy. And then we have Pestilence Haze, Skyway Sniper, Lure Scale Quaddle, Codal, Quaddle, Codal, something, Snake, and then Comets. Very, very cool. And also let, let me know if you guys have any idea of like what you would want me to give away with the double with double masters. Like I said, I'm gonna make it pretty special. I think double masters is special enough it deserves a pretty good size giveaway. So if you guys have anything you want, give me some ideas in the comments. I will absolutely listen. Dismal Backwater. And we have a Temple of Epiphany. Nothing exciting there. Come on now. Still standing at three mythics. And then we have Carrying Grove, Heartfire Emulator, and Garrick's Uprising. So I don't really know what the like goal is for Mythics in this. Again, I'm so used to collector's boosters, but I think, you know, 36 packs, get, get six Mythics, I think you're sitting pretty. That sounds about what it should be, one in six packs. Another Cat Token. An Island. Foil, read the tides, and transmogrify. Uncommons, and ah, uh, commons. Next pack, about halfway through now. Moving along a little bit better now. Uh, Goblin wizard token, blossoming hands. Ooh, a foil. Foil rare, foil animal sanctuary. Very cool. What's going to be behind you? Jorel. Very cool. Foil rare, always nice. And Sanctum of Cal Calm Waters. I think we've seen every. Oh, and then, ooh, that. Would... So if you want to build a <laughs> the shrine deck in Limited, that's the kind of pack you want to see. Two shrines there. And yeah, go through this. Perfect. Shines do look like they could be fun. I'm not big on going f more than two two colors in a limited environment. Well, depending on the limited environment, obviously. Sometimes, you know, splashing a third isn't too terrible. But I like keeping my desk decks as simple as possible in limited. Stormwing Entity. And our little Meteorite, fun little card. I like the flavor of that card. It's not the best card in and of itself, but the flavor of the card is cool. And some comments. All right, moving along. Oh, I just had a huge dinner too. I probably shouldn't, I should have waited. I should have done this before dinner because I'm all tired now. We had, uh, we, call, we call it Surf and Surf Beast token. We, yeah, we had made crab cakes and I uh, pan fired some shrimp. That was good. Tranquil Cove, another temple, Temple of Silence. And some uncommon goodness. And some commons, nothing there. And, and we uh, do a lot of gardening here. So we had a fresh garden salad straight out of my backyard. It was, it was a meal. I, I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. I could not even think about dessert. I'm so damn full. <laughs> Forest, Bossery's Lieutenant. And then we have Illuminate, Conclave Mentor, Faith Fetters, uncommons. And just go through these real fast. Right. Let us see what's going on. I really should have brought the trash can over too. So I just have like this pile of garbage growing. Scoured Barons. Oh, okay, another uh, Twin Blade Assassin's foil and a rare Rune Halo. Rune Halo. And then we have a Kinetic Augur. Season Hallow Blade. Chandra's Piling. And last but not least, our Commons. I'm getting tired, man. I'm looking forward to bed tonight. Okay. I'm looking forward to going to bed. Construct token. Very, this is a cool-looking token, too. Like, I, I like the way this guy looks. He looks like he means business. Okay. We got a, what you call it, a showcase forest and the rare fire emancipation. That's, an, uh, that's a mythic. That's a mythic. Interesting enough, so far, three out of four mythics have been red. And then we have Rewind. Very good card in Limited. I found out today. 
I always just want to ask when we're through it. And throwing hold, and which is cauldron. And then commons. Still no grim tutors. We do have two uh, planeswalkers. Haven't got an Ugin yet. Haven't got a Teferi. Soldier token. Swift water caves. Oh, I saw the blue and I got excited for a second. I was like, did I just call it Teferi? And I was like, will it? I did not. As Baron, the Telerian Archmage. <laughs> I got real. Oh, oh, okay. And we have a solemn simulacrum right behind it. Extended art. Very cool. That, I don't know why that was sitting there. I, I figured, I thought that that would be behind, uh, in front of the rare, but okay, I, I could be wrong. And you guys can correct me if I am, but I thought that the, um, the showcase art, if you're getting one, was going to be in front of the rare. So that one caught me off guard there. I didn't know what, what, I didn't know what was going on. And all right, we're in our last stack now. Last stacks. We've got 12 more packs. I'm already 21, 21 minutes. we got to hurry this up. All right, so we have our Swamp. Oh, another Foil Rare, Speaker of the Heavens. Very cool. Oh, yes, Elder Gargaroth. Very cool. Another Mythic. It's a decent card right here. I'm happy with that. Good. Very good. Fierce Empath. Uh, Silver Note Ghoul. Twin Blade Assassin. And then some common, common crap. Very cool. So, so we got two foil rares. I'm going to put them aside. I'm going to put them aside so we can actually enjoy them later at the end of the video. Very, very cool. Hope we're not. I'm surprised. So far, five mythics. Not bad. Not bad. That's about what I expect out of the total box. So I don't know if there's going to be much more left in here mythic-wise, but, you know. We could get lucky. Beast token. Dismal Blackwater. Another Animal Sanctuary. Mm, uncommons. I went through them a little fast. There you go. And our all of our commons. Oop, I'm trying to do it the old way. Yeah, there we go. That pull tab is handy. I'm not going to lie. All right, so token. Land. Necromentia. And then we have the Tolarian Kraken. There's the Black Shrine. I don't think we got that one yet. Wingmare. And all this. Blah, 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 blah. All right. It's hot in here. I should turn on the air, too. I didn't think of it. I didn't want the background noise going on. It's warm in here. Very hot up here in, in New Jersey, where I'm located. Very hot. Rugged Highlands, and we have a foil, a Celestial Enforcer, and Scavenging, ooh, Scavenging Ooze. Nice card, nice card. And we have our Uncommons, and our Commons. Oh, there you go, Shadows. Chandra's Magma, it seems to be the uh, showcase card they like to stick in my packs here. All right, let's see what we got going on here. So we have a Bird Token. Showcase Mountain, Double Vision, and then Waker of Waves, Boss Solidarity, Dire Fleet Warmonger, and our Commons, our Commons. Getting down to it now, we only got about seven, eight packs left here, not too much longer. Box breaks are fun, though. I enjoy this. I really do. It's always fun when the new set comes out, get a chance to see and handle the new cards. Pursued Whale is our rare. And we got our uncommons. And our commons. Nothing too exciting. That's one nice thing about the um, collector's boxes, uh, packs, too. You don't really get that many commons. I think you get, what, four commons and two uncommons, so it's a lot less, you know... And crap that you're not really interested in. Goblin Wizard. We got a Plains. Sandra's Incinerator. Quarry and Dryad. I like this card a lot. I did not I didn't get a chance to play it today, but I feel like this card could have been a rare. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong. Obsessive Stitcher. Shipwreck Dowser. And then we have our, our comments. Oh, there we go. There's another showcase one. 
I like this card. It looks like it's not finished. You know what I mean? It's like the empty text box. It just looks not finished. It is just a 7-3, and that's it. Move these uncommons out of the way. Yeah, I think we got five packs left, so including this one, five packs left. Got a mountain. Foil Kinetic Augur. Primal Might. And then Tide Skimmer. Malefic Scythe. And Liliana's Devotee, the uh, showcase version. And some commons. Beautiful. Right, four packs left. I, I'm really enjoying doing like this just channel. We get a chance to meet a lot of really cool people. Like I started talking to uh, Paul's Brown. I've been talking to cards with Michael, Demon Token. I've been talking to Waves Does, MTG. And they all have really, really cool contact. Uh, MTG Moxman. Check out all their channels. Maybe I'll link them all in this video because they're, they're all really cool guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See, that's what I get for giving out shout outs. Look at that. I started talking about someone else, saying nice things about other and something nice happens to you. Isn't that how, that's how life should be. That's a foil, solemn simulacrum, extended art. That's a card. That's nice. Look at that. And a glorious anthem. I like this card. I like Glorious Anthem. I forgot there was another rare in there. I was so excited. And then we have our Bad Deal, Un Unleash Fury, uh, Jess Kai Elder, Uncommons, Uncommons, and some Commons. <laughs> that one, that caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see a, bo a box topper staring at me. Very cool. All right, so. We got our knight, knight token, planes, foil forest for some reason, spark hunter massacres are rare, blur fist oak, leaf kin avenger, thrashing brontodon, and then commons. Cool. Two packs left. Two packs left. Are we gonna get one more mythic out of this, or are we gonna be stuck at five? I and mean, I really can't complain. It's been a, it's actually been a pretty solid box for a standard booster, weird token. It does look weird, it looks cool though. That's it's, it's pretty cool token, I like that art. And let's see, okay. Let's say, uh, oh, I'm gonna put this down here. Showcase art, Teferi's Ageless Insight. We got our uncommons and our commons. Dub. Dub. Last pack. Anything special in here, you think? What do you guys think? This last pack. I don't know. I'm feeling like it's going to be kind of boring. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little pe pessimistic. Who knows? A swamp. And... Ooh, Sublime Epiphany. This card wins you the game in, in limited. This is a great, great limited card. This was that counter spell I couldn't remember the name of. But look at what it does. Choose one or, or more. So basically, it's like choose everything. So counter target spell, counter target activated ability or triggered ability, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, target player draws a card. I mean, it's, it's stupid. It's just stupid getting to do that much. And it's, it's six mana, it's a lot, but... And if you get to counter a spell, you play this on your opponent's turn, oh, it just puts it over the top. Fantastic limited card. Love it. And we have Archfiend's Vessel. Indulging Patrician. Selfless Saber. Puppy. And the last of the commons. All right, so that is it. Now, eh, I guess we're going to... We'll use Mr. Solemn Simulacrum as our, uh, as our word for the play set. Or the, not the play set. The draft set of... of uh, Core 2021 booster packs. So if you want them, if you want these packs, just uh, in, in the comments, Solemn Simulacrum. Type that somewhere in there. And I'll make sure that if you comment it, you are going to be in the running. So what do we do? We have, so we got three rares out of the box, or three uh, rare foils. Not bad. One of them being a box topper. Five mythics. Two planeswalkers. Not too terrible. Not bad at all. I am happy with this. All right. 
I guess that's going to be just about wrap us up. Like I said, we got all these giveaways coming up, four of them in total. So please, please, please like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get this going. Let's get you guys some stuff and more box breaks coming up soon. I promise. You guys take care. Good night.